So this is the Fallout 3 archive utility. If you open it up, it seems like nothing there. So what we need to do is we need to go to File, Open Archive. It comes up with a pop-out window, and we need to look for Skyrim-Textures.bsa. Click Open. And depending on how fast or slow your machine is, uh, your computer will take its time loading it up. Okay, through the magic of editing and coffee, we've opened all the texture files in Skyrim. So as you can see, if we uncheck this, we've got all the texture files. We've got architecture, we can even go right into it and see Riften, all of its Riften textures. We've got clutter, we've got cues, we've got the cube maps, we've got every single texture that we could want. Now, we've got two choices. We can uh, export one by one. Uh, for example, we can go to, let's see, Architecture, Solitude. Uh, stone Steps, Control Click, Stone Steps Normal Map. And we can go to Action, Extract Selected Files. And it will give us an opportunity to, uh, to extract selected files. We could do that. Or... We could just select textures, go to action, extract all files. Now, if we want to do this route, we should navigate to our Skyrim directory folder. See, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Skyrim data. And if we press select, you add a new textures folder and it would uh, export every single texture that's stored in the BSA that's within the Skyrim game into our data folder. Now I'm not going to do that, I'm going to press cancel because I've already done that and I don't want to um, overwrite any of my files. But I rather this method, I want to export everything. Number one, um, it's the easiest rather than going back and forth and exporting one at a time and you realize that you exported the wrong one you've got a whole bunch of them already for you and number two it's it wouldn't cost that much in size to be honest maybe five or six gig for every single texture file the texture files the DDSs are pretty compressed uh, but everything will be about maybe five or six gig uh, for newer machines this isn't a problem for older machines it may definitely be a problem but I think it's best when you export everything out just to be safe <coughs> also using this uh, we can also open the other archives from my previous tutorials we can open up the sounds and we can export every single sound in the game so we can create our new sounds meshes if we're into 3d modeling um, voices and all the rest of it you can also see that some of my mods like populated cities pure waters we can also uh, extract them but once we've done that it should appear in our textures folder and we've got every single texture that's in the game and that is how you use the Fallout 3 archive utility in order to export textures for Skyrim modding I hope this helped and if it does help please share this video with your friends online so we can all help each other out thank you for watching